One of my most favorite places to visit, not only in South Korea, but in the world, is this abandoned school. Um, I'm going to attempt justice in my description uh, using a voiceover and some footage on a windy day without a tripod. The first thing you notice as you're pulling up to this place is a small convenience store. Uh, some traditional houses that have stairs on the outside that go to the rooftop. Sometimes there are women uh, working along the seashore. Uh, my dearest friend, Lydia, she would appear in and out of these shots that I was filming, and it kind of gave it an emotion, creepy, but an emotion that I, that I kind of want to get across. As you're traveling up this path, uh, you notice these details. Uh, for me, I always got this song stuck in my head each time, and it made me instantly happy. I always think that I'm in a, uh, a village, an isolated village in Spain, and there's a bull running down this, the, the main road. At the top of this road, uh, to the right are some stairs, and it's instantly a completely different atmosphere, but still a positive feeling. It's just so many things, so many elements to this place. The first thing that I noticed at the school was the statue uh, in the corner of the front yard. And all South Korean schools have this statue uh, on the property, but I guess it's the oddity and its placement. It's not what the statue stands for, but it's the fact that the statue is alive. And that's this place, every little uh, detail, every object portrays an emotion. And you don't think about the history, you just think about how it's making you feel. Some people like to go to famous places like Summer Palace, uh, Great Wall, or a Siberian train ride. For me, in this moment, you're the only person in the world that's experiencing this, that has this connection with this place. Though the school was locked, it didn't matter that, that you couldn't go in because it, it, it's just enough, as is. I always think about this merry-go-round uh, when I think about the school. And you can see the ocean and vast farmlands behind it. Uh, I, I don't like things that spin. I think it's dreadful for your equilibrium. But the shape and the color of this, this thing just fascinates me. And as you're playing on it, you don't think about the people who played on it before, you think that you have been here before. And um, it's like a, a place from your childhood when you would go and play in the woods and you have a special tree. It, it's like that place was made for you. And as you're saying goodbye, to the school, there's a bittersweet sadness. It's like you just had a cup of coffee with a friend that you hadn't seen in years. But you know, as you're leaving, that you will see them again. That is inevitable. That it's a part of you. And walking down the stairs, uh, making your way back on the path, you still get a sense of the same sense that you had before. Like, I still feel like I'm in Spain, but now all these objects that I observed um, going to the school, as I look at them, 
leaving the school, they have a completely different meaning. And each time I walk that path, something changes that, that gives this whole experience a different lesson. And I don't know. It's just a very special place that has so many layers and colors and shapes. But it's all beautiful. You feel wiser when you leave. <laughs>